Okay, what I want to do now is show you how to start off your rug um, and how to start a round rug. So we've got two pieces of material. We've already discussed these in the previous videos. So one is a runner and one is a worker. But just to make things easier, I've made two pieces, one, one darker than the other so that you can see which I'm working with. So I'm going to join the pieces together and just the same way that we showed you before. So they're joined. I'm going to have the dark piece as the runner and I'm going to have the pale piece as the worker. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move off the table and I'm just going to go to the floor here just so that you can see how I'm doing this. So we have the runner, the dark piece. I'm going to put my foot on that to make this tight. And now I'm going to make some stitches onto it. By That's the first stitch. And to make a circle, I'm just going to do four stitches, but this is how to do them. Take this one over the runner, up through. That's the second stitch. You don't want these too tight because you're going to have to go into those stitches. The third stitch. You see, you can definitely see the stitches. And the last one, the fourth stitch. Okay, so I'm going back to the table. You've got your four stitches. Here is your runner, so I'm going to move that out of the way because that's not going to do anything apart from go round. So I'm going to thread the needle on the worker. So in order to get this going round, I'm going to take that round. Yeah. And I'm going to go up through the first stitch underneath the runner and just until I've started I'm working away from me rather than towards me so that's your first one done that's the second stitch underneath the runner just spread it out a little bit now if you can see if there is a big gap so I need to increase if I go into that gap I'm going to make a bigger hole but I'm just going to go in there twist that over underneath the runner and just don't be frightened to move it around a bit just so that you can see your stitches into that one I'm going to move it round now, so I'm working towards me. In there. And now I can use my thumb again as tension. Into that stitch. Underneath. Again, don't be frightened of opening it up so that you can see where your stitches are. You can see there's a big hole there. So I can either go into it or I can pull that one over and go in. So I'll just go into it just to show you how you can do it again two ways. Yeah, and then into the next one. Another hole there, see? 
that's the next stitch but there's another hole so I'm going to go into that one as well that's just telling me it needs to increase and at the beginning you'll be increasing quite a lot Frightened of opening it up, there's another hole. So I'm going to go into that one as well. That's another increase. And you just keep going round. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you.